Hello there, and welcome to Drawing with Normoto. Today, we will be drawing a fabulous, beautiful bird. Like that one right there. Yes, it'll look just like that one. And I will show you some tips and some tricks on how to make beautiful art designs. All of this today on Drawing with Normoto. <laughs> So you see, when you are drawing, you should probably have a really good uh, art setup, like so. But you also need some materials. Yes, yes, let's go see some of those materials. So first, you will need something to draw on. And speaking from experience, the walls are not good things to draw on, especially if you do not want your mother to get mad at you. Yes, that was a bad time. Anyway, sketchbooks, that's what these are called. Yes, these are sketchbooks. As you can see, we will open the one up right now. All we have to do is open these up. Ah, yes, you can see one of the drawings I was working on earlier. You see the tree, the other tree, the mountains, the pile of leaves, the leaves on the tree. Yes, you see, these are the characteristics, I cannot say that word, uh, of being a good artist. But you see, people ask me all the time, but Naruto, what happens if you do not have a sketchbook, or you're too dirt cheap to buy one? Well then, my friends, I will tell you. Paper. Plain white computer paper. It's super cheap to find, and you can probably just steal it from your co-workers. And it has its own perks, such as it's not in the book, or it's disposable. And also, the, the real thing is you can probably steal it from like an office place or, or even re some restaurants have pieces of paper. Yes, paper is very easy to come by. Some of you have probably seen Cooking with Onua by now. And I thought if he could get that much fame from cooking, I can get that much fame from drawing because my drawings are amazing. Am I right? So that's why, don't tell Onua I said this, but I borrowed Hans for a second. Come in here, Hans. That is Hans, and he's going to clear us a place so we can draw. Yes, Hans. Juan, Han, hi. How do you say your name? Hans? Okay, that is very good. Now, you see, Hans has prepared us a place to start the drawing. Don't touch me, Hans! Ah! Now that I have properly disposed, I mean, uh, paid Hans and told him goodbye, now we can get to the drawing. Okay, yes, let's get to the drawing. So, before we get to drawing, we will need to go over some supplies and tools that we will be using for the drawing. Yes, let's go over here. At minimum, darn it, always out of frame. You should have pencil like this. At minimum. If you are really good, you could have pencil set like this. Bought this $5 at Walmart, so it's not really that good. But no one needs to know that except for you and me, eh? So yes, you see, we have, so, pull the camera down, yes, there, okay, come on, yeah, okay. We have, well, uh, let's see, what do we have here, um, yes, a 4B pencil, which means it's going to be darker uh, than a 2B. We have a HB right here, that's an HB, and we have a 2B, which means it's it's darker than a normal B, and, uh, I, do I really need to explain this to you? We have some uh, graphite thingy things. And more importantly, we have a kneaded eraser, which is basically the silly putty of the eraser industry. Yes. If you're even better, you might even have something like this. Or these. Yes. And you see, I have quite a lot of stuff in here, so let's let's see what's inside. I have neatly wrapped them up in rubber bands. These are my B pencils, these are my H pencils. If you don't know what that means, go and Google it. It's not like this is an art tutorial show or anything like that. And then I have some very cheap and bad colored pencils that I got for $5 at Walmart that I highly suggest you do not get if you want bright and vibrant colors. Uh, if you want colors, actually, it's... Come over here. Despite the fact that Hobby Lobby, this thing is like, well, I mean, a, this is a 72 set and the 12 set is like $24. But on Amazon, you can get these super dirt cheap and it's a... Uh, it's a... Uh, Prismag color. 
Prismacolor pencils. Yes, these are very good for drawing in the color, okay? Okay. And then you have this thing right here. Come, come here. Yes, this thing. We all know what this is. And for those of you who do not, it is a, um, it's a, it's a thing to distract kitty cat with. Yes, yes, that's definitely what it is, yes. So after you have distracted kitty cat with this magnificent device, you probably can get to drawing now, now that there's no kitty cats on your workspace. But just so you know, to be completely honest with you, I kind of assume that you would have the common sense to have a pencil sharpener but since some of you lack common sense apparently you will you will need a pencil sharpener to sharpen your pencils unless you use pocket knife which that is very dangerous and you could cut your hand off if you're not careful i know because my cousin fred did that once yes yes he did he's no longer an artist like me all right now that we have done that we should get on to the drawing. Yes, the drawing. Let's go. Drawing. Okay. Okay, for this demonstration, I will be using a normal pencil like so. Please disregard that it is taped to my hand. It's because I am a butterfingers, okay? So I'm going to be using this for all you poor people out there who cannot afford pencil. You probably can find one of these in your neighbor's yard or at the business place or even go to a school. And when no one's looking, just grab it and run off. Nobody will even know their pencils. It's not like they're special or anything. Okay, so now we are going to draw a beautiful, beautiful bird. Okay, now let's start. We're gonna start over here and we're gonna make a, a beak shape. See, like that? It might be a little hard to see. There is the beak right there, okay? So then, when we start, we're gonna go up and down, like that, okay? Make this very simple shape, okay? And then we're gonna start from down like that. Very simple, okay? And then we're gonna do the same with that side. Yes, it's very even, very simple. You can see there's no rough lines or anything here, okay? So we are going to make, oh, I'm sorry, I just bumped my camera. We are going to make this into blue J, okay? So it's gonna need something that kinda comes like this. Please disregard that it looks like a cardinal at this point. I assure you, it is not a cardinal. Give that a brief sketching in, it does not have to be perfect yet, okay? So then you're gonna want to add the eye. Yes, see the eye, how I'm doing the eye right there? Yes, it's going to be beautiful, bird. And so then you're gonna start right here. And you're gonna bring it down. Come over here. And then bring it like that. Do you see how I did that? It was very simple, okay? Very simple. All right, then I'm gonna add some feathery details around the beak. Yeah, see how simple that is? Very simple. Okay, and then the wings, very simple like that. Mm -hmm. And then I'm just gonna add the rest of the body and then the tail's kind of just coming out over here. Okay, very simple, okay? It's very simple. All right, and so then I'm gonna just refine, redo my eye a little bit and then I'm gonna have some shading very simple okay very simple shading so I'm just like lightly shading that then all right and so now it's only missing well a couple things it's going to be some feet like that yes we only need one foot because that's all birds have of course what you didn't know that well go search up pictures of bird all right and so now only one thing left to do and boom, just like that, you have very beautiful bird, okay? Very beautiful, very simple, it's very pretty looking. I mean, look at the eyes that we had just created. Okay, now you can see beautiful bird back there. Thank you for watching. See the thank you? It means thank you for watching. And my superiors just informed me to bring it over here, guys. Bring it over. That the Prismacolor uh, pencil set thing, uh, the case is kind of a little bit weird, maybe for children. 
Uh, I do not see that, but okay, whatever, okay. I just spilled all my pencils over here, so now I'm got to put them back in order. But anyway, thank you guys all very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you make beautiful creations, and I will see you in the next drawing with Narmoto. Yes, thank you, and have a very nice day. And remember, it's not science, it's not magic, it's art. Alright, bye now.